Well, 46 years ago, there was the Watergate scandal in the United States, which cost then President Nixon his job. He was implicated in the attempt to plant listening devices in the Democratic Party's National Committee in the Watergate building in Washington, D.C. The latest bugging scandal involves the African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, that the Chinese built in 2012. The French newspaper Le Monde quoted anonymous sources at the African Union headquarters as claiming the following that the Chinese had planted listening devices in the desk and in the walls of the building. The devices picked up information of every kind from the African officials. This information was then relayed to Shanghai late at night when the building was shut. This had been going on for the last five years. The paper also quoted the officials as saying that the microphones were discovered during a routine sweep. The devices were removed and the servers also changed. The report made headlines the day before the African Union summit opened on Monday, a point which the Chinese claim was significant. For the, the timing of the, uh, of the article was very interesting. It was published just one day before the summit. So uh, I think that the, the story was intended for the uh, African countries here and uh, to attract the intention. And, uh, but I think that uh, they, 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 they will not succeed. For the record, the Chinese denied either bucking the building or stole data. Rwanda's President Paul Kagame said, and I quote, I don't think there is anything done here that would not like people to know. I, I don't think spying is the speciality of the Chinese. We have spies all over the place in this world, but I have and I will not have been worried about being spied on in this building, unquote. But the Rwandan president wished that the, rather than China, Africans should build their own buildings. In other words, the embarrassment may have been avoided if the Chinese had not paid the cost, which is 12 billion, which it costed the Chinese government to build the African Union headquarters using predominantly Chinese labor. And on this, I'm joined by my colleague Surya Gangadharan from Newsroom. Surya, how, how serious is this uh, charge? You know, there was a reference to the Watergate, but Watergate... Uh, brought down Nixon's presidency, you know. It started, it led into investigation, it was a big scandal. But uh, how, how do you see this development? Because ultimately, you know, these are, this is about to, uh, one sovereign government against a whole continent. I think what I found interesting was the uh, Rwandan president's uh, response, you know. He didn't uh, deny or confirm um, what the, the bugging incident. Uh, all he said was that uh, the uh, Chinese are not the only spies going around. And uh, he held out the... Um, uh, the uh, hope that one day the Africans will build their own buildings and not have to rely on Chinese who could end up possibly even bugging their uh, uh, the entire building. So in that sense, I think it reflects uh, an African uh, hope and an aspiration. Uh, as far as India and other parts of the world are concerned, the controversy surrounding Chinese uh, uh, telecoms equipment is widely known. And we are aware of um, the Chinese hacking into Indian Navy servers, Indian Army uh, uh, mobile phones and uh, taking data from there. Uh, even Indian Army computers. Uh, that, is, of course, has changed now because the Indian Army has its own intranet. It's got its own um, ground-based system of uh, communications. So those problems have been uh, uh, largely diluted now. But uh, if you look at the Indian telecom sector, it's... Even the, even the cell phones are largely Chinese, with Xiaomi, Vivo, Oppo. These are all Chinese companies that dominate the market. And the concern is there could be in all of them uh, uh, what they call a Manchurian microchip, uh, which could be um, activated or triggered at any point uh, by people sitting in China. So there are concerns about data privacy and uh, the confidentiality of government information. So how, I, I, I will ask this question in the context. You know, people say that the China is the new colonizer in Africa. So in that context, when we say that China is the biggest landowner in the new Africa, how seriously this uh, episode should be looked into? See, there is an element of sour grapes in the West about uh, uh, report when they are reporting on China. Now, if you look at what China is doing in Africa today, the Western powers have done that more than 50, 60 years ago, in the last century actually, and even before that. So there is an element of heartburn, an element of sour grapes. But given all that, I think you have to give it to the West. There is an element of transparency with which they do operate. And there is an effort to try and address concerns when mm -hmm. they are brought to them. You, know? you don't find the Chinese doing that because the Chinese system is opaque. Uh, there is no democracy there. They have never okay. known democracy. And this is how they operate. Thank you. Thank you, Surya, for this update.